Hello, I am back again. Sorry, uh, I'm a couple of minutes late because I accidentally had a minor explosion problem. Uh, the explosion was actually down to my uh, brother, Brother Thelonious. Uh, the cap came off with a little too much jazz energy and yeah. So, where's my headphones? <laughs> I, I, I've come back to an idea that I've never really finished and okay just gonna move some stuff around here okay so what I'm thinking I've been looking at winches again and I'm thinking there's a way that I can make my paraglider or at least my underslung plane thingy mm hmm so let's actually start taking a look at this uh, new 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 so, what I figured out, and and uh, we don't have Infernal Robotics working just yet. The version that is published is kind of not really properly 100% official in a way that I'm comfortable. Actually, I'm going to come out of this. Don't save. Let's go to the other place because we need window symmetry. Not window symmetry. Window symmetry? What the? Blazes, am I thinking? No, we need aircraft symmetry. There, that's what we need. So, uh, I gotta figure out how to actually do this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me think. So, first things first is I'm gonna hook a winch. My winch shall go upwards. So, mm -hmm, look for the winches here. The winches are down here. Winch. Give me a winch! I said winch, not wench! Okay, let's actually do this. Cubic octagonal strut right here. Winch. That's the stuff. I'll probably use like infinite stuff for now. Maybe some symmetrical symmetry? I do like my symmetrical symmetry. Symmetrical symmetry is where all the symmetrical symmet... It's good, right? Launch and return, what? Launch and return windows? No, no, there's no windows involved. This is about an aircraft. Oh, crap, no, go in here, here, here. So these are my ports that I'm gonna attach things to. Right, so that's gonna be hung there. Why isn't the word symmetry a palindrome? That is a very good thing. There used to be a cave in Kerbal Space Program on Tylo. Actually, I'm not sure. It might still be there for all I know. Okay, and this is going to go on the front. So now we need to build a wing. Actually, this is the wing. This is where the wing will attach, and then these will be the ones that go to it. Okay. So the wings need to just extend far enough. Why isn't a palindrome a palindrome? Palindrome, palindrome. Palindrome is a palindrome. It can pal like a drome. <laughs> Look out. Here comes that palindrome. Ha ha. How shall I have the nose of this thing? We probably need to have like a symmetric thing to start with here, and then we'll build the wings around it. Actually, what? Oh crap, wrong button. This one? Yeah, actually, let's do that. Oh. Yes. No. Yes. There we go. Do that. I, oh, you know what? I could just use the big ass ones. Why am I even bothering with this? No, no. Structural wing. Just do this. Start with the big wings. Just, just start with as big a wings as I can get away with here. There we go. Two of these wings. That is rather bigger than I thought I would need, but that's fine. We'll now make some adjustments. First of all, we'll grab this. Slide it backwards, slide it upwards. So this is this will hang at the nose. And then we'll rotate the whole thing. Oh. That's not quite the way I thought. 
so next I am what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these swept wings we're gonna use these as our tail it looks a little weird like this I don't care I'm just trying to trying to get something that will give me some sort of level of control here but they're all gonna be passive control surfaces this is the idea right This is sort of a hang glider. It is literally going to hang from here and glide. I'll make that clear, right? So I'll strut those up. I'll strut those up. And they apparently didn't want to strut. If you're not going to strut, I'm not going to be happy. And then these... What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these to, I don't know, like out here, and then attach them to this. And just for good measure, I'm going to attach a pair of struts out like this. And it's still not looking right. How about this? I attach them on the side. And there, that's looking more like it. Okay. So, why is there... Oh, that's what there is. Oh, I've got a Kerbal Engineer, apparently. When did I get Kerbal Engineer? I thought that didn't work. Uh, we're going to call this Hangor. Save. So, we probably need to actually put something on top of this. Let me just check. Center of mass. Center of lift. Center of lift is in a very strange place. Very good, Silent Searchlight. I've never heard that one. Silent Searchlight, how do you know you've got a vocalist at your door? He always comes in too early. Ha 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 Okay. What's actually... Oh, these are too big. I need something small. There, that'll work. I said, I wanted two of those, damn it. Didn't you realize? There we go. So now I need a way to get this thing airborne. And this is going to be the hard part, right? So, I mean, the center of thrust is there. So I guess I could just strap a bunch of thingy. I could put a little jet engine. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little jet engine right behind the center of mass right now and just use that. We don't necessarily need it, but I figure having a jet engine... You know what? We'll have jet engines and then we'll jettison them. That... Ha! Huh, jettison the jet engines. Oh! Oh! oh, oh I am too funny, I tell you. Too funny by far. <laughs> Ooh! Silent Searchlight is taking offense at my anti my my jokes that are making jokes about vocalists. Because apparently he is one. Oh how funny. Yeah, let's let's have a what do you call it? Oh you know what? If I put that weight so far back, it'll not work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these <laughs> I'm gonna attach these here. And then we'll just jettison them when the time is right. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ditch this, but I'm going to put like a stack separator. Not a stack separator. Yeah. A coupler. Uh, this doesn't have any fuel, but we could put a little bit of fuel in the wings. This is going to be something that is nothing short of stunning. Pardon me, I'm belching a little there. That banana bread apparently does things like that. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. So that should just lift off vertically, right? <laughs> I'm 
just like, this is not going to work. This is not going to be controllable because what I want to do is get this up to altitude and then give it some control. It's not a supersonic glider. The idea is I want to be able to try to fly it by adjusting the center of, by having the cockpit hang and adjust the center of mass. There's fuel in there. Oh. Apparently, I am liquid fuel deprived despite being there. Thank you. <sighs> Amateurs. I put fuel in the wings, but it doesn't come through, it doesn't flow through the decoupler. Unless I, I guess I could just tweak the decoupler. Enable crossfeed there, that's what I should just do. I am truly an amateur. No, we're doing better. You know what, FR Draw, anything that I make during my live streams is pretty much absolutely up for being done better. I'm just going to turn on infinite electricity because I know I might need it at some point. Let's just see how this flies without anything else. Engine throttling. Oh yeah. And then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. So that those are moving up that way. So I'm just going to adjust these downwards and then hopefully we'll hit the right angle you are helping beta test some mods that's great because mod developers occasionally have asked me and truthfully I just don't have the spare time to do them justice <laughs> uh, river fight I guess I need to adjust the the thrust vector just a little more. Let's look at center of thrust and center of mass. But they're totally the same, clearly. Wait, 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 wait. I Are you saying I needed to adjust these more in this direction? Oh, wow. That is really interesting. There's so much mass in these things, basically, that I need to... <laughs> Those are entirely the mass of the thing, of the the wing. I am kind of aware of the desert bus thing, but I, I kind of get into these situations where I'm busy. Let's uh, revert flight to launch. Yeah, the desert bus thing is tends to be happening when I'm not available, like when I'm at work. You know what's going to happen is this is going to break. I should probably, like, you know, no heat damage. Wait, physics? Thermal. Uh, no, 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 no. Interesting. Cheats. Ignore max temperature. <laughs> what a man of questionable intelligence I am right now. <laughs> but look at this thing. Oh, oh, look at it. It's totally gliding like a pro. Okay. Uh, you know what? We are going to do something different. I would love to be involved with these things. Like, I, I'm very much... Oh, crap. I'm very much a supporter of anything that I, I can do for any community. I just typically end up lacking the spare time. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to do this without having a giant... Like, I guess I could have a tailplane that I attach and then ditch. That may be what I should do, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these back, and then when I jettison these, I shall also jettison the tailplane, right? So that way, I at least have some control. So we need a coupler here. We need a stack decoupler. And the whole idea is just to get this up to an altitude where I can use the darn thing. There, okay. And then out of the back here, we're going to put some very, very, very large things. 
Aerodynamics. Yeah, again, we're going to use this trick. There. So I should be able to ditch that. But before then, I will have some control. Let's try that now. Oh, you know what? Of course, before I do that, I need to strut this up so that it is held securely in place. This and this need to exit at the right time. I could cheat it into an altitude. I could. That might be the best option. I might, like, literally just cheat it into the air. But I kind of want to try and fly this strange contraption. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm going to go down. <laughs> There's so much weight on the nose there, right? This is not Mass Effect. Okay, I was playing Mass Effect earlier. Hold on while I change it to Kerbal Space Program. There you go. Updated, updated. All done. I definitely need more of these, though. That's clearly what I need to do. In fact, I should just stick more on the end here. Oh. There. There. How can that be bad? I tell you how it can be bad. It could be turning the wrong way. Let's let's rotate this so that it is more actually let's rotate that that way and rotate these this way. The idea being that they will naturally at least stop it depressing. Okay. What if I push the engines more into the wings? I, I totally could do that. I'm just actually enjoying the prospect of trying to make this thing fly. It's totally impractical in so many ways. Also, you know what I need to do right away is show the GUI. I wonder which one is one. Well, let's try flying first. There we go. Now we get some control. That's right, now slow. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. Uh-oh. There, let's do that. Let's throttle to 50%. Or let's... I'm just going to see how high I can take this thing before it loses control. I, it does look kind of cool, I have to say. Right, so now we're turning this way. I could try steering it towards the mountains. I just want to get it up to a reasonable altitude before I ditch everything. Let's F5, by the way. Because I'm need. i going to have to take plenty of time to just slow down. I'm going to have to adjust my uh, the cabin, basically. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta get this up higher. This thing... What do you mean this thing flies better than it should? It's gone through several revisions. Of course it's capable of flying now. Yeah, we're at five, six kilometers now. Let's get above the clouds. So yeah, this this brother Thelonious, worth worthwhile. Okay, let's ditch this. Okay, apparently, I was supposed to have ditched that thing and it hasn't come down. So my plan for controlling this is not going to work because apparently this thing doesn't want to detach. <sighs> it is altogether too long. So let's actually try extending this out. What I want to do is replicate the like the Gemini parasail thing. Let's just make them all go long. Let's see if this thing
Okay, it ain't doing anything. Because these things are attached. And that thing won't detach. Oh, man, you... Urgh. Denied! <laughs> I'm hitting space. People are like, hit space. I'm hitting space as many times as I can. We just had an explosion down there somewhere. Still, this does seem to be gliding with some, you know, beautiful stability, I have to say. It is rather nice the way this thing just floats around naturally. Yeah, but I, I would expect this to break and then all the struts that it was attached to were supposed to break. That's pretty nice. It's just kind of... It's, it's, I wonder if I just turn off stability control and see what happens. Let's turn off stability to see how it naturally falls back to the surface. No, no, I want to see how this behaves if I just let it fall passively. That What is the name of that kind of oscillation? Where it does these turnovers. Yes, yeah, messing up the winches. So the struts for things that are... Yeah. Well, this will take far too long. Okay, let's try and take some control here. I'll, I'll just try and fly it to the surface. I'll flip it upside down. That might make it easier. There we go. I'm trying to deliberately hold it at an angle so that it will descend faster. Because clearly I have enough lift to land this thing. Will I have the patience is the real question. Or will I become a patient? You think it needs more yaw authority? It shouldn't need any yaw authority. I just want to adjust the center of mass and make this thing fly. Speed it up 128 times and play the Benny Hill music. Yeah, I used to have that as my ringtone on my phone. Because it, it worked surprisingly well having that as a ringtone, I have to say. Yeah, I think this is the the stablest way for me to perform this descent. Oh, and we're gaining altitude again. Everything's funnier to Yekati Sex. It's absolutely true. Why would I ever change it? Well, I changed phone. That's really what happened. I also used to have the Monty Python theme tune because that was, uh, you know, Sousa, Liberty Bell. And then I had a bunch of Ski Whiff. Ski Whiff is a great band that is often overlooked. They do all these really fun kind of quirky electronic tunes. Always jazzy, always funky, a little bit naughty in places, but a lot of fun. Just trying to keep this going down. God, it's taking forever. Come on, you know you want to go down there. <laughs> oh, I, I, Entry of the Gladiators, you mean March of the Toreadors? <laughs> da, 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 I'm sorry, I'm really ruining Carmen. Carmen is, of course, one of the finest operas ever. Uh, and yet, yes, I do sometimes find that... Uh, <laughs> I do sometimes find that it sometimes descends into yakety sex. Hey, Wayne Taylor! Good evening from Seattle, Washington. Hey, fellow West Coaster! Yes, I hope you... Hope you're uh, enjoying your um, your west coastedness. Mm 
Let's play Jaws when it lands. Okay, I'm gonna pull through this this loop here. I'm trying to get it somewhere near the runway, but man, this thing... It really doesn't... I'm pushing down, incidentally. I'm pushing... I'm trying to pitch nose down, but that doesn't do anything. It just makes it go up. Finding Car... Oh, that's Carmen. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That was like a... You know, hey, let's try and teach kids geography through the medium of video games. We all know that doesn't work. The, the most I learned about geography was from, you know, war games, rather than the likes of Garmin San Diego. Well, music suggestions, I'm going to absolutely say, if you have ever con wondered what good opera sounds like, Carmen is one of the best. It's not even in Italian, I don't think. I think it's Spanish. I mean, it's supposed to... It has definitely Spanish-themed. It's by Bizet and... Boy. Boy, it is special. Okay, I'm just going to try and aim for the runway here. Oh, wow. I get no roll authority at these low speeds now. It's just kind of falling downwards. I'm trying to pitch the nose down, but doesn't really want to and now I'm trying to roll the whole thing there we go uh, roll it the other way we're probably gonna lose some wings but I think he's gonna oh wow I thought we'd lose some wings but no let me just check nope no crash damage wasn't he just totally just fell into the ground Fantastic. Okay, well, I'm glad that survived. Okay, let's revert flight to the Spaceman Hangar. What is Carmen? Carmen is the greatest opera ever. Okay, so I need to come up with... Uh, I need to come up with a better way to attach these things. So, I guess actually that was fine, right? Having the TR-80 stack decoupler right there is still completely valid but I think what I need to do is have some sort of tailplane extend back from it so let's actually just use the tailplane there we go and then we'll just attach these onto it Ooh. yeah let's just attach 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 where are we here we are Okay, that's looking good. And let's just stick another one out there, just for good measure. How crazy could it be? We'll find out. I'm still going to use the struts. I, I think the struts should detach. That's the theory. Look. <sighs> what do I think of SpaceX? Uh, you know, they're heck of fun. What am I attempting? I'm attempting to f try and build a thing which is gravity stabilized. Ah, oh, darn. It didn't work. Okay. Revert to launch. I think I need more thrust. Yeah, I mean, that thing is facing the right way. I just throttle these things up a little more. Wayne Taylor, 66 has apparently been following me for almost three years. That's very scary. But since you say... Didn't you say you were in, like... Um, hold on. Uh, Wayne Taylor. Yes, yeah. So, Wayne, you say you've been following me for, like, three years, and yet you're still in Seattle? I'm gonna say, if, you, <laughs> if you're still in Seattle, you're clearly not doing the stalker thing particularly well. Not that I necessarily want that, but, you know, just in case you're wondering, I am not anywhere near Seattle. Okay, let's let's just do this. I'm just going to go over the top here. <laughs> this thing's probably going to fall apart. So what I'm doing is actually pitching downwards. Yeah, this is doing really well. 
Oh yeah, silent searchlight. Yeah, we've been we've been talking about doing a lot of things together. So, and we do have silent searchlight is talking about vintage space. Amy Shira Shira Tito. She um we have been in touch. We have be we've met. We've been working on some stuff, and you will see it soon. One hopes. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna ditch this thing once we get into horizontal flight. Let's see what happens. I'm cutting the thrust. Ah, yes! F5. I love the way those things go. Okay, so now I'm gonna try... Oh, I should probably bring out these things, so... Load the... Show the GUI, right? Now let's just try extending, extending, extending. Excellent! Okay, so now I need to stop. Stop. Okay. Oh, oh, no, now we need to bring the... <laughs> now I need to bring this back in. I need to lift the nose up. <laughs> no, I said shorter, 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 not longer. What the heck? Stop that! Okay, bring yourself back in. Okay. <laughs> so I need this to... So the idea was, right, during early Gemini planning, right, they thought... They could fly, instead of landing the capsule in the ocean, they thought, why don't we, like, fly it under a parasail, right? So that's what I'm trying to replicate here. So I'm trying to get something. Okay, and this thing is still too far nose down. So if I bring the nose up a little, okay. So now, that does that look any more stable? <laughs> okay. Oh, look! Oh, no! It looked like it was stable for but a second. Uh, what I'm drinking today is Brother Thelonious, which is a Belgian-style Abbey Ale. Yeah, it's a good thing these cables can't get tangled, because otherwise I would be doomed. Yeah, see, part of the thing is I think I really need infernal robotics to make these cables longer. So what I'm going to do is just bring them back in, bring them all back in, right? And see if we can reach some sort of stable orient. That's stable again, right? So let's now move it out, move it out, move it out. Let's move it out progressively. I don't like the way that's going, so let us lower... Oh, pardon me. The idea being that I want to make the nose go up. Okay, this is really not working well, is it? Let's try pulling the nose up a bit. Okay, that is not really working too well, is it? Let's try doing the reverse. <laughs> Please pull out of this dive soon! <laughs> oh look, it pulled out of the dive! Stop, 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 stop! Now that! That, 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 pull that back in! <laughs> it did, it, there is some sort of control here! Stop that! Pull yourself back in! Pull yourself together, man! <laughs> I do believe that there is some hint, the merest hint of control. I'm not sure it's enough to actually fly this thing, but I am prepared to give it a try. Okay, longer, 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 longer. Come on! Oh well. Let's try and reload that. Damn it, Jim! The engines kind of take it. Okay, so let's let's do this, and let's show the control. See, if is there a way that I can slave two of these together? Because what I really want is to have these two the same. 
Uh oh. See, doing that immediately causes it to stall like a crazy thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm lowering the rear. Oh, and that actually seems to work pretty well. Has that done anything? I mean, no, it hasn't actually moved anywhere. Let's let's move it out a little further. There we go. Let's actually move this front one out a bit. Okay, so now we've actually got some sort of free motion going on, right? Now the only thing is we're a little high, so let's try making the nose go lower. Ah, look at that! Look, it, it it's kind of falling vertically. Okay. Well, that was something exploding that we don't need to worry about. But this is actually kind of working, right? So the idea being, right, that you can fly a parasail just by adjusting the length of the cables. And so you could turn it one way or another. Now the only problem is that I've, I'm kind of limited by the controls I have here. So I think I've just made something that is stupidly stable to start with, so I shouldn't claim too much victory. Let's try and see if I can make it go faster by pitching my nose down a bit. Yeah! It's it's pretty much a straight down plummet rather than anything. I'm wondering if there's any forward velocity at all. Oh, I do actually have, like, a surface velocity thing here. What does it say? Horizontal speed. Horizontal speed, 400 millimeters per second. Right? This is, uh... This is not really representative of what I was trying to do here. Let's try moving the nose even further down. I'm not sure, that hasn't even helped my horizontal speed one bit. <sighs> hmm. The project is generally failing. What I, I thought I would create a paraglider where in fact I've barely created a parachute. Our horizontal speed is essentially zero. Let's try doing that. Let's actually apply some control torque to it. There, look. Let's try picking up some horizontal speed by using those reaction wheels. It It is actually cool that that does work. I just don't have the, I don't know, the correct gearing or something on this. Oh, I could put SAS on this. I'm trying not to use SAS. I want to control it by adjusting the center of mass of the whole thing. That's really what I want to do. I think really what I should have is an infernal robotics thing that takes these points and then moves them far away because the latch points have to be, I think the winches have to be at zero distance to start with. Okay, so I've forced it to nose down and that means that we're now moving forward at 24 meter, sorry, moving it forward at one meter per second. Let's, let's try, di oh, not this way. That apparently isn't doing anything. Let's make it go longer. There, so I've moved the center of mass backwards by doing that, actually. So in fact, what I should do, right, is I'll pull this in, and that pulls the center of mass forwards. So let's actually extend these one at the rear. Oh, you notice that actually makes it turn, by the way, right? So I can make one get a bit longer. And it literally turns. That's pretty cool, huh? So we're actually steering it like this. That's even although we're not going forward very fast. But if I keep making this longer, it should shift the center of mass forwards. And we might actually pick up some speed here. Uh, no, we're not picking up any horizontal speed, but I thought I'd try it anyway. That's 2.5. Yeah, that wing I thought would would surely move forward at some speed. 
<laughs> he steers great, but it's only going straight. It's practically going straight down. I have a basically built a parachute. And here we go. <laughs> I'm going to give it one more try. One more try. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is pitch this thing down and try to like tell it to hold itself there, right? So that we're actually moving sideways. Okay, uh, show GUI. Release, extract. You know what? I should probably... Oh, you know what? Here is my silly mistake. Uh, okay. Let's... Re uh, darn it. I need to finish this flight. I should have assigned these to action groups. I, don't, I hadn't even thought about it, but... We can assign these to action. Let's just go nose down and see how f if I can glide it like this. Ah, it does actually glide. You think the center of pressure needs to be further aft? That is a... That is worth investigating. I, I think the real thing that needs to happen is I need to get infernal robotics working because then I could make this the anchor point. And then as I deploy it, have the thing fold itself outwards. So I'm going to start turning over towards the runway here. I have so This thing has so much lift. But the only steering right now is coming from the mass of the cockpit. Yes, LFO is a great song. You want to know what another great song is from that era? Voodoo Ray by a guy called Gerald. Like, oh my god. Also, the bass heads, is anybody out there? Yep. Th these are like early 90s raver tunes, which are timeless as far as I'm concerned. Many old raver tunes do not age well, but those ones, those ones are perfect. And I will have nothing bad said against them. Okay. Let's see how far we can get. This thing does turn really slowly. What's my vertical speed? Five meters per second, four. Okay, now I gotta kinda just stay horizontal and bleed off this speed. There's the moon. Tis not a super moon. Uh, it's just a regular moon. Uh, Wayne Taylor 66. Does Felix hold the record for the fastest free fall? Because of course, Alan Eustace went way higher than Felix did. Right? So I, I don't want to... I need to ch actually check, to be honest. I'm totally going to land this thing. <laughs> In fact, I wonder if I could just, like, unplug everything. There we go. Do, 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 do. Well, he broke the sound barrier at sea level. He didn't necessarily break the sound barrier at his... I guess he would. I don't know. Um, but Alan Eustace holds the record for the highest parachute jump. He's basically an early Google engineer. Yeah, Alan went from much higher up. That's the thing. So Alan didn't have a gondola. He was basically in a spacesuit hanging from under a balloon. And was it Gary Connery? That was the guy that landed landed the wingsuit without a parachute. You think these things might be applying too much drag? That's fine. I don't care. I mean, it does look to me to be very, very stable, which can only be a good thing. I'm now going to horizontal this out. And then just see how slowly I can stall it at. Yeah, I think it needs more initial horizontal velocity. Or, or something. 
I think what I need is a way to make it, you know, move in a particular direction. Oh, something exploded. Ah, it was only a decoupler. I'm I'm kind of liking where I'm going here with this, but I think I do think I need infernal robotics. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Gary Connery landed a wingsuit without a parachute. It's, you know, proper badass Jeb, you know, Jeb Kerman kind of thing. Jeb Corliss talked about it forever, but he didn't do it. It was, it was, um... No, I'm not a US citizen. I'm taking... I'm actually at the point where I'm going to take my civics exam later this month. So, uh, yeah... Where where's this thing? Oh. Okay, so we've got that. That seems to work. What did oh I wanted to assign action groups, that's what I thought, because I figured action groups might make this more steerable, right? So I can do here uh uh, uh I can do Extend cable and retract cable. Right? And then three. So three and four will be for both of these, right? So these two will be. Three will be retract cable and four will be extend cable. Now, is there a way to break up a symmetry group for this? Hold on. If I. Uh, mm, <laughs> Toggle key control. Enable key. No, you know what? Let's move this out here. Let's make that five. And we'll see what happens. Now, this is, this is pod racing. This is a waste of time. This is a waste of time. You know, California has people of all persuasions, right? Yeah, Wayne Taylor, do not post any links. The bot won't like it. Uh, you know what? I was in LA last week, last weekend, but I was busy, unfortunately, shooting things, like video things. We have a potential project which may or may not work, but I'm uh, hoping that it will work. Do I know what LIGO is? It's not like the, the are you talking about the gravitational wave experiment or are you talking about something else? Let's try and get this higher. Taking you higher, higher and higher, baby. It's a flying thing. We're going up to the sky. Okay, that toggled key control, that didn't do anything. Okay. And I'm going to get out and get horizontal. And then we're going to throttle back to zero. How do I leak? How do I feel about the leaked EM drive documents? I think that they haven't figured out their uh, issues yet with their science. That they've clearly overlooked some problem at this point. Okay. So now let's try this. Okay, why does that not work? Oh! Oh! <laughs> you know what? Uh, I should have F5 before this happened, right? <laughs> Come back! Come back! <laughs> 
Okay. F5. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the best way to do this. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go this way. F5. Now let's try this once again. Okay, that's made that one longer. I'm not sure that really works. Oh, something crashed. Okay, so I should... Uh-oh, that makes it kind of unstable. Go back! Lock yourself in place. At least we've actually managed to make this thing go faster. Oh, uh, oh well. Uh, Jebediah, you want to try landing this? Okay, first things first. I should probably unplug, unplug. Let's jettison these. What do you think? Do you think I can land it? Oh, I like how there's like stuff just sitting out there that's clearly nothing to do with this. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? I was trying to land this thing and you messed me up! <laughs> I was- I was in total control there and then the- the thing just bugged out. Oh, man, like, it was just like, I'm gonna go, oh, I'm falling, I'm falling, and then it was like, ah! <laughs> Well, I- I'm sure I can fix that problem. You know what the definition of madness is, right? <laughs> Confirmed game is in fact broken. Yes, I totally agree. Um, show the GUI. Let's try... Okay, we've got that one out. Let's turn on turn off stability control. I wonder what happens if I just, you know, make this as long as possible. I wonder what happens if I just make it as long as it will let it. What will happen? <laughs> well, clearly the extra length is not translating to some sort of uh, stability. I had such high hopes for this thing. <laughs> this is just a science experiment. Let's be clear, right? I I think no, I don't think I need four points of contact. I think what I need is that the points of contact need to be much further apart. Right? I do like the fact that the velocity of this thing is actually somewhat reasonable at this point. So we've maxed out the length on this thing. And it it's kind of... Whoa! <laughs> this is pretty funny. I've already flown a kite behind a rover. It's kind of dull. Trust me, it has be it is surprisingly dull flying a kite behind a rover. It was one of the most dull things I did. Yes, I got to say though, yes, if you pay attention uh, maybe a week, maybe next week, you will see me and Amy Astro Astro la, la, la. <laughs> Astro Vintage Space, you know, lady We'll be working together on a magnificent Kerbal project. That would actually be cool. The spider What we should actually do, though, is try the harpoon and see if we can make the harpoon work against a plane. I do kind of... I'm really curious to find out if this thing survives. Yeah, they're totally orbiting each other. We're still falling. 
they are looping with some grace. Yeah, I think what we need is like the the extension points need to actually be near the tips of the wings so that we have a much wider uh, framework. But the only way I can think to do that is to do infernal robotics and infernal robotics support i tried to get it working and it wasn't quite working correctly so no i'm not gonna throw whack a kerbal at this point it's clearly gonna land safely in the ocean and my entire experimental process will be validated right should i turn on stability control maybe i'll try that see if that makes any difference at all I like in the... Uh, right, so yeah, somebody's actually pointing the altimeter is quite often going upwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite sure what way it wants to go. Look at them go. You can also take a look at it from the interior. Jeb's like, I totally got this. Jeb is totally in control of the situation here. Yeah, the surface velocity is not changing by a great deal. We actually have some solid horizontal speed when we're not... Uh, I don't know, when we're not doing this. Maybe this is like a primitive version of the rotary rocket. You see, what's happened is the vertical speed is converted into radial speed in this system. So we're able to dissipate it and therefore bring ourselves down to a relatively slow and sedate landing. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Come on, bets. Place your bets. Will the, What will survive? Do you think the, the pod will survive this thing? Does the spin increase when you pull it back in? Uh, I could find out... At, no, let's not do that. Let's just keep everything where it is. Yes, the camera is indeed at the center of mass. Oh, and we're going up again. This thing is actually probably going to slam into the water going pretty fast. <laughs> you think the pod won't survive? Some people think that Jeb will live. Some people have faith. They've seen Jeb in worse situations, right? <laughs> that would actually be a kind of cool thing to do if you had a pair of wings that worked like that. The pod is actually... The relative velocity of the pod... There, it's going to hit the ocean. Yes! Ha! Who was the... Who was the doubter that said the pod would be destroyed and the wings would survive? No, no. Jebediah Kerman. He survives, but the wings did not. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, actually, let's revert this to the thing. <laughs> okay, so given that I can't really make this thing... Oh, I've got an idea. I got something of an idea. I've got the vaguest hints at a possibility of an idea that might not be completely terrible. Okay, open. Well, let's call this Hangor 2. Hangor the Barbarian. Sort of. So the front one, actually, I think we can we can be fine with, right? What we need to do is adjust these. So I'm just going to pop these off. And then I'm just going to put struts on this to make them really, really long. And this is going to be really hard. I guess cubic octagonal struts are still the lightest way to make really long connections, right? So I just need a ton of these. There we go. And now I will attach these. I will attach these to the spacecraft. And then we'll strut these upwards. 
So the struts are maintained. Okay, apparently I can't strut in that direction. How about I strut in this direction? Strut to the plug. So there, the idea is at the very least I've moved these further apart. And I think what I'll do similarly... Oh wait, I can't really adjust the front one so much because that is very much attached. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to adjust these backwards, right? So I'm going to grab this and just swing it like this. So the attachment point will actually be further rear. So that should actually make it torque more one way or another. Yes, Hangor the Barbarian. His mission is to crush the spacecraft, to see the engineers driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of the stockholders. Can you make an airfoil out of balutes? Not quite. I was actually thinking of recreating the George Bush Sr. Uh, era Mars plan. I don't. You probably don't know about that, but they had these giant heat shield things that would be... Could you imagine a shuttle uh, stack with what looks like a flying saucer attached to the side? That was the idea they had in the late 80s for Mars. I mean, it sounds like nobody in the new administration is interested in the whole Mars thing. Like, nobody. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what's going to happen to NASA right now. But that's the word I'm hearing from people in the know. Okay, people have all these opinions about where the struts should actually be. But this is what we've got. Okay, show the gooey. Oh, you know what? I bet you... Oh. Okay, that still works. Yeah, Mars, you know, the, the first administration that was talking about going to Mars was George Bush Sr. And it was uh, Reagan and Bush Sr. that were also behind moving the, making NASA have this mission to Earth. And, oh. oh okay. Well, that's really interesting. We're no longer aerodynamically stable at all. Let's start stretching things out. Okay. Oh, look! That's almost stable! No, it's not stable at all. Let's actually turn off the stability control because that might be causing some stress here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, let's actually try reeling in the front one. There we go. Okay, so let's let's do this. Yeah, it's just it's going to be interesting because by the sound of things the the new administration will undo all the stuff that Reagan and, and Bush Sr. were pushing in, in terms of NASA priorities. They're not interested in that anymore. <laughs> it's going backwards, that's my problem. So how do I make it go backwards? Well, I need to drop the rear ones. Let's let's drop the rear ones. This one. Let's just see what happens. I drop the whole thing. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work particularly well. 
once again floating away. Let's now bring him back in. Okay, there we go. Let's let's shorten everything back to normal. I could no. The, well, the problem is here that I moved the back further back, and I think that is becoming less stable as a result. I think what I need to do is have this one be able to connect further forwards, right? The idea being that I should be able to drag this quite a distance from one way to another. Whereas I can't really because... Yeah, that's really the ultimately the problem is I should be able to shrink these things back down. Yeah, everyone's talking about the EPA, which again is a is another uh, Nixon concept. Just really, I do find it really interesting that the things that uh, were sort of cornerstones of much of the campaign, of Trump's campaign, were very specifically things that were Republican ideas. Like, everything were were ideas that had been pitched by, by predecessors. So, you know, not a traditional Republican in that sense of the word. That, But that's as far as we're going with this, right? I'm just going to tell you the history that... that this is how we got here that the uh the yeah the the you know the the earth sciences part of NASA is a, a part of the Lake Reagan administration and journey to Mars that was first pitched by George Bush senior and everything else is not something we're going to be talking about Okay, this is just not going to work. This is not going to work. Okay, so let's try something else. Let's try... What? We should actually try, like, a whole thing. Yeah, I've got these things. Wouldn't it be funny to actually try building a an actual... Yeah, we should actually try that. Let's try that. Okay. Now, we're not going to do that anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to build a proper a proper pod racer. As ridiculous as pod racers are, we're going to build one. So the idea being, so these are the wrong things. We need we need a different kind of structural wing here. Aerodynamics, aerodynamics. So we can attach these here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to try... What I'm going to try here, right? Why does this not want to rotate the way I want it to? Damn it. Grab that and then flip it up the other way. Did anybody like the video that I made today? I really want to see a thumbs up or thumbs down from that whole uh, more science concept thing. Because you know I like my science. Okay, so now... Oh, 
need the thingy. Oh, I could use just big ducted fans, couldn't I? So we need these plug things on the end, right? And then we attach our stuff out of here. Yeah, let's yeah, let's use these. Oh no, let's not use these. Let's start with the cubic octagonal struts. And then move these. Actually, we don't need to do we need to move these forward? I'm going to move these forwards. That looks cool. Now let's add some of these big jet engines to them. Why not? Like, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Oh, how ridiculous this is going to be. And now we need some little wing surfaces. We need proper, like, steering wing surfaces attached to the back of these for stability, right? So I'm going to pick... Uh, what am I going to pick? I'm going to do the old, good old Delta Deluxe winglets everywhere. Oh, that'll be cool. I actually have them in the inside. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. On the inside. And on the inside. Nice. Okay, I see how this is going. I can make this work. I can totally make this work. This is going to work totally gonna work. I mean, how could this not work? Well, it could not work in spectacular style, but I think that would be a net benefit to us all, right? We would like to see a not working and exploding instead. We're gonna need some fuel somehow, but right now let's just work on the anchoring these things into a big, you know, thing, thing. That's what I want to see. Just so this thing is just gonna get pulled along, I guess, right? That's the idea. I probably should put some more I'll put some Delta Deluxe winglets on the back of this thing just for extra stability. That's not the way that I meant. That's what I meant. Okay, this cannot fail. Let's call it PR failure. So the next thing we need to do is on the build section, actions. Custom one is extend cable. Extend cable. And custom two is retract cable, retract cable. Okay, and then we need fuel. We still need fuel here. So let's do that. We'll just add some little dinky fuel things. Where's the Mark 1? Mark, Liquid Mark 1, Mark 0. That's what I want. Okay, now we need a way to launch this whole thing, of course. So I'm just gonna point it vertically. Because why not? What's the worst that could happen? It could be a pod racer failure or a public relations failure because, let's face it, the pod race, which was supposed to be a highlight of a certain prequel trilogy first movie, was kind of crap. Okay, and then let's actually display the thing. Uh, show the GUI. Okay, I'm just going to let this go. Okay, we're still under control. Now let's try extending things. This one. Oh, 
Okay. This actually flies, but it doesn't steer very well. This does have steering, but I just can't seem to make it turn at all. Yeah, the Nintendo 64 pod racing game is an absolute classic, and I'm so glad. I have like three games on my Nintendo 64, and one of them is the Star Wars pod racer game. I'm just going to make that one that clear. Perfect Dark is another one. Like, holy crap, Perfect Dark, the original, was fantastic. These things are probably going a little too long. Let's shrink them down. It doesn't need to be that far away. <laughs> now we're starting to arc over. We all know what is going to happen next. This thing is going to fall in towards the planet going rather fast. Hey, that's actually looking pretty good like that. It's just a shame that it's not going to stay in that attitude very long. Look at it, we're almost pod racing at like... What's the altitude? Whatever altitude this is. <laughs> now, if, if I should probably just not have any control surfaces on this rear thing now I think about it. So let's, let's actually go back and revert flight to the space plane hangar. Right, because I think my problem, or one of my problems is I've got control surfaces here that I just simply shouldn't have. I'm going to do this. Hold on. X. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I will move it out of the way of the exhaust. There we go. That kind of looks weird, but it's totally legit. I'll do that. You know, so yeah, this will this will work. Let me adjust this. Put the engines all on this stage. Save launch. <sighs> yeah, that's right. The perfect dark was essentially, you know, golden eye without the license. It had so many good things in it and it did require the memory expansion. A lot of people forget that there was a, uh, a memory expansion for the Nintendo 64. But, yeah, I could not fault that game. Shogui. Okay, let's try that now. You know what, I should probably disable torque. There. Trying to turn this thing over, man! Like, the way the thing goes... Right, so we're now 13 meters back. And part of the problem is the drag on this thing is pulling this straight. Let's try rolling. That'll work. Yeah, okay, that kind of works. Let's just post this. Let's, let's go sideways. <laughs> Corn and the kebab? What? Are my YouTube tutorial Right, the basic principles are up to date because rocket science hasn't changed much. But, you know, yeah, there's always new things I could do, but simply re-recording all my tutorials would be kind of... would not work particularly well. Let's roll this thing over. Okay, so we're hardly flying close to the surface at high speeds, but I kind of like the way this is flying. I think there's something cool about the way this works. Now, can, the question is, can I use it to gain altitude? Probably not. <laughs> we're now, we're now going down faster and faster. I think I should just like cut the throttle altogether. That's right, we need air brakes as well.
Ooh. <laughs> Come on! I actually cut the thrust to see if I can you know, pull out of this dive, but it, it is not going to come out of this dive. It is kind of stable, but I think part of the problem is that the control surfaces are too far back here. So this thing is essentially a lawn dart with a spacecraft attached. You know what? Maybe we should just... Uh... There we go. Come on! Pull out of your dive! Yeah, it ain't doing anything. Oh! <laughs> oh man, he almost escaped there. <laughs> okay, one more go and then I gotta get some sleep. So I think what I need is more wings further forwards, right? So we actually have more control. So I'm gonna put air brakes. I sh should I put air brakes? I'm just gonna put canards on it. Canards. Or not even cart canards. These, like, winglets. That's good. And then I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, I can just do that. What do you mean I turned off? No, no, Maker of Roads, I turned off the rotation on the pod on the previous launch, not on this launch. Right, I didn't touch the rotation on this one. Okay, let's actually make this fly horizontally first before I start bringing out the GUI. Okay, now, now we've got some control. Yeah, look, this is actually looking more like what it should. So let's see if I can actually do some horizontal flight. Oh, oh, okay, there's a bit of wobbling there. I think I... I think... Oh! Okay, that is not what I intended to have happen there. Uh, so what's happened is the struts have broken because I put things where they were supposed to be. So I need to pull out of this dive just a bit. Okay, I'm going to throttle back because I think traveling at this speed is bad news. Look, this totally works! It totally works, other than the fact that it's falling towards the ground. I, I need to fix the strutting. Let's make it work! We need more struts! We need more struts! More struts! More struts! Yes. Okay. This is this is looking really good. This is really looking really good. I'm not going to use auto strut. No, 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 no. Auto strut is very likely to re lead to chaos here. Bring up the GUI. Show the GUI. Winches are set. Stability control is enabled. And we'll start reeling it out. How far should I let it go out? 10 meters? That'll do. Okay, now let's try turning it. That feels better. Oh, maybe not so good. Maybe I'm going to throttle back just a bit because I think there's too much thrust on these. This is totally working, though! Holy moly! I did not believe this would be possible. Of course, landing it... Landing it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> and it doesn't turn anywhere near as sharply as those things in the movie did. Let's just try flying it, you know, over to the island. Shall we? Let's try looking at it in here. This is, this is pretty cool, right? Oh, okay. Just a little bit out of control here. <laughs> oh man, Sebulba's messing with my messing with my design. I'm heading towards the ocean. Let's pull out. There we go. We got we got control back again. 
Sorta. Uh, yes, this is pretty cool. Um, let's come out of this. Once again, falling towards the ocean here. Let's see how close I can get. And we're still, even at like, half thrust, we're doing Mach 1. That's a little more controllable. Okay. Still wanting to go down, though. <laughs> I should turn off stability control here. Because the stability control... I don't know if that's going to work properly. But there's the airfield. I do not fancy buzzing that tower and being able to pull out in time, so I'm going to start pulling out early. I just hope I don't hit the cliff here. Come on. You know you don't want to hit it. Beautiful. Pod racing. Now this is what I call pod racing. I hear you. They are energy biter voltaic are whatever right okay let's see how long we can make this thing I'm just gonna stretch it out as far as it'll go and see how well it'll fly okay I need to roll uh, wait, roll vertically because we're losing altitude again <laughs> oh no 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 uh Okay, this thing. <laughs> Come on, eject! Okay, this thing is not working. I was trying to un undock these winches, but they're clearly not wanting to leave me. They're just like, no! No, we want to stay with you! Oh, what the? <laughs> no! Now that is pod racing. <laughs> well, I think it's time to say good night. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Have a fantastic one. See you again sometime. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.